destiny. If you look at all the intervals here, if you look at the, all the intervals here, which interval contains the 22? Um, if you just guess which interval will have the 22 in there. What do you think? Good life, but let them try it first. The interval, that means that the whole thing, like from 45 to 47 or from 20 to 26, which one, which interval contains the 22? What do you think? Good, that's it. If you look at the interval from 21 to 23, it's gonna be what? If you look at the interval, it's gonna be 21 to 23. And you can see that if you list all the numbers, it's gonna be 21, 22, and 23. So in that interval, we see that we can find the 22, right? So that interval contains the, the 22, okay? All right, let's see the next one. And our destiny, make sure that you fix it for me, okay? Because we're gonna do many activities in the future. All right, let's see how about the next one. Um, some of you, what is the cumulative frequency below interval? It's okay if you guys get around as long as you guys try it. And if you don't know, I will show you how to find it. Okay. What is the- I don't know. So that is Samantha, right? So the cumulative frequency below interval, you look at the cumulative frequency column here, okay? This is a cumulative frequency column, okay? Just in case you still, you guys still don't get it, make sure that you pay attention to this, okay? So here are all the cumulative frequencies, okay? And here is the interval that we are looking at, is that right? And so we have to look at the cumulative frequencies, okay? And the cumulative frequency below the interval is right here, right? This is the interval, but the cumulative frequency below the, the interval is right here. So what is it, everyone? 21 to 23, right? Yes, that's okay. correct. This one right here. And then we looked at the cumulative frequencies and we want to look for the cumulative frequency that is below that interval. So this is the interval. And then we look for the cumulative frequency that is below that interval. So the answer would be zero, everyone. So most of you got the right answer. And some of you guessed the answer. It's good that you guys tried it. That means that if you don't have any, or even if you create an interval here, since there are no items in that interval, then the frequency is zero. And then that means that the cumulative frequency is also zero, okay? If you don't have anything, that means that it's gonna be zero, okay? Good. All right, next, the score. I'm gonna call on someone, even if you get it wrong. How about Vanessa, can you tell me what is the score that we are looking for? Um, four. What is the score that we are looking for, looking the, for the percent, percentile rank four. What score is this? 22. That's it, the score is 22, okay? All right, let's move on to the lower real limit. So here is the interval that you guys are still looking at, okay? So what is the lower real limit? I'm gonna call someone. How about Ramon, can you tell me? What is the lower real limit for this interval? Ramon, 20.5? Good, it's right here, right? These yeah. are the limits of that interval and this is the, the lower real limit, okay? So the answer is 20.5, good. All right, the next person. How about Brianna? Can you tell me what is the interval size? Brianna. Um, three. All right, how did you do it? How did you find three? Can you tell me? Um, I sub subtract the, the upper of the 20, 
3.5 and Good. subtracted to 20.5. Good. That's it. And that's how she got the three. Okay. You take the, the upper limit minus the lower limit. Okay. Or there's another way that you can find the interval size is this one. You can also list all the items in the interval and there are three numbers, right? So the interval size is the interval size is three as well. You can find it this way or you can take the upper limit minus the lower limit, okay? All right, so let's take a look at the next one. You need to find the frequency within interval. All right, I'm gonna randomly con someone. How about, let me see, randomly. How about Christopher Fan? What is your answer for frequency within interval? Um, it'd be, sorry, give me one second. It'd be four. Good. You can see that this is the interval, right? And then if you look at the frequencies, then this is the, the frequency of that interval. It is within the interval. So this is the four, okay, good. All right, let's move on to the next one. And next we are going to find the sample size. What is the sample size? How about dose? Can you talk out loud to me? Um, the sample size? Yes. The sample size N, right here. N? Wouldn't it be 67? Am I... Good, that's it. 67, which is the, the same as the sum of what? The same as the sum of what, everyone? Type in the chat for me. The sample size is the same as the sum of the Good, Ms. Terat. Yes, of the frequencies. Good, everyone. That's it. And now you just have to plug the numbers into the formula, right? All right, good. Lathe, Brittany, good. And now if you plug the numbers in, let me see if I can um, use the pen over here. It's hard to use a cursor and use the pen at the same time. Yeah. All right, so if you plug in the numbers, oh, here is the formula, everyone. So first you plug in the, the cumulative frequency below the interval, which is right here, right? Which is zero and then plus, The score, the score minus the lower real limit. So the score is 22 minus the lower real limit is 20.5. And then divided by the, the interval size, which is three. And then after that, you need to multiply this whole thing in the parentheses by the frequency within the interval. So it's gonna be four. It's gonna be four. And then after that, you divide by, by N, which is 67, 67. Okay, and then times 100. Times 100. All right. I got some answers already. How about other people? What did you guys get for the answer? So first, you guys want to subtract subtract and then uh, divide 
and whatever you guys get, multiply by four, and then add to zero, okay? And then after that, the whole thing divided by 67, and then multiplied by 100. I got some answers already. And Chula, that is close. All right, so let's review the answer. This is what I got, and you can also double check it for me. Yeah, I got something like this, and if you route it, it's gonna be, is it almost 3%, is that right? Yeah, let's say it's close to 3% if you route it, okay. You can uh, double check it for me and let me know if um, that is not right, okay. I'm gonna let you do that by yourself and hide the percentile rank of the score 43 in this table. Before you guys plug the numbers into the formula, let's check the numbers first to see if you guys got the numbers right, okay? So that you don't get the whole thing wrong. All right, so I'm gonna randomly con someone. How about... Let's see. How about Evelyn? Evelyn, can you tell me what is the interval that contains the score 43? 42 to 44. 42 to 44. Let's check to see if that is true, okay? So 42 to 44 is here, right? And you can see that this interval contains 42, 43, 44, good. Yeah, so you can see that the 43 is in there. Okay, good. And if you look at this, what is the sample size? Uh, what is the, the interval size? Evelyn, what is the, what is it? Three. Three, good, that's it. Yeah, you can also determine the interval size from this. Okay, all right. And later we can also use the lower and the upper limits to find it as well, or to double check it as well. All right, so I'm gonna just mark the interval so that you can see it better. Let's see, let's use this color so that you can see it better, 42 to 44, which is this one right here, everyone. That's that's what you guys are looking at, okay? So that you can see it better later. All right, let me make it a little bit bigger. All right, the next one, how about Gabriela? Can you tell me what is the cumulative frequency below interval? I got 65. Say it louder, please. 65. 65, all right, let's type it down and then check, okay? So this is the interval, and then you look at the cumulative frequency below interval, but this is not below, um, Gabriela, which one is below it, huh? 64. Good, that's it. Remember that everyone, this is the interval that we are talking about, right? But when you look for the cumulative below interval, this is in the same interval, okay? So below it, that means that you have to look at the number, the cumulative frequency below it. That means that it's gonna be 64. So be careful with that, okay? If you look at the word below, that means that it has to be below that interval and it is the cumulative frequency, okay? Good. All right, and what is the score that we're looking for the percentile rank for? Let me call someone. How about Juan? Can you tell me what is the score here? Uh, 43. Good, yeah, 43. The score is the one that you can find right away in the problem right here, right? That's what you're looking, that's what you're given already. All right, the next one. 
Next, we need to find the, the lower real limit. All right. How about Kayla? Can you tell me what is the lower real limit? Um, is it 41.5? Good. Yeah, if you look at the, the interval right here, and this is the lower real limit of the same line right here, right? And you look at the one to the left and it's the limit, okay? Not the, the numbers here. You have to look at the limits. So it's gonna be 41.5, good. All right. The interval size, you guys already got it, right? The interval size is three, or you can take the upper limit, which is 44.5 minus the lower limit. Lower limit is 41.5 minus 41.5. And you also get three as what we got over here. Okay, so which is the same thing as this one right here. All right, so next you need to find the frequency within interval. Let me see. How about Leith, what is the frequency within interval? Uh, is it one? Let's type it first and check, okay? So if you look at the interval here, and then you look for the frequencies column, right? This is the frequency column. And you can see that within the interval, inside of that interval, that's what it means by within. Yeah. So within means that it is one, okay, good. That's correct. And n is a sample size, even though we already talked about it. I just wanted to make sure that if you guys still got it. How about, um, let me see. Luis, can you tell me what is n? What is the sample size? Uh, 67. Good, yeah. Just want to double check that you guys are following even though we already talked about it. It's right here, right? Which is the same as the sum of the frequencies, okay? Good, everyone. And now you just have to plug in the numbers in the formula, right? So if you plug them in, so I'm gonna use the pen. So if you want to use a formula, then it's gonna be, all right, so. I'm using the cursor to write, so it's kind of hard. Usually I use uh, the pen to write, but today I'm doing this on my laptop. So cumulative frequency below interval is 64, okay? 64. And then plus, right here, score minus lower real limit. So score is 43. Minus lower real limit is 41.5. And then this whole thing here is divided by the interval size, which is th three, okay, three. And then times this, this whole thing here, everyone, this part here times the F within interval, which is one, okay, one. And then this whole thing divided by you cannot make it straight. And which is a sample size, which is 67. And then times, times 100. And can you guys type in the answer for me? What did you guys get? All right, so this time I'm gonna just listen to you guys, okay? So you said that it's gonna be 96. And if you don't get it, then um, double check it again, okay? Okay, I'm gonna just listen to you, okay? All right, so this is the fifth time that we, um, we did this, okay? 